Hi guys, first I wanna start this video by thanking one of you lovely ladies for recommending the Maybelline Tattoo Liner Eye Pencil. This is working so much better with my contacts. I cannot thank you enough. I wish I would have known about this before I bought that expensive Urban Decay pencil. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe I'll use it if I wear a smoky eye, which is not often. I would only do that for a special occasion. So, but you know, this is life. So thank you so much, girl. This right here is working perfectly for me. And as you can see, I have three of them because I bought a little set. So thank you so much for this recommendation. That's why I love YouTube. You ladies know so much. So yeah, thank you so much. All right, so I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day in a minute. You guys like my outfit of the days, even though they're pretty basic and simple. Um, first, let me say it's Ramadan here in the Middle East, and I'm sure around the world. Uh, it is a Muslim religious holiday that goes on for 30 days. So basically it consists of, you know, self-reflection and fasting, and the fast breaks when the sun goes down. So all of the restaurants are closed. You can't eat inside of a restaurant during fasting hours. You can't do anything publicly, chew gum, drink water, nothing. And so it's a very interesting time of year you know, to live in a culture like this. And so happy Ramadan to all of my Muslim friends. I pray that you have a very blessed holiday with your family and in your time of reflection. And yeah, I'm gonna head out to the grocery store because I wanna pick up a few things. I wanna do um, a couple of new, or I wanna try a couple of new recipes this week. And my husband's working hours are shortened during Ramadan, so he will be home much earlier for the next 30 days. He has a shorter work hour when um, this holiday is going on. So yeah, I'm gonna head out to the grocery store and then I'm gonna come back and make dinner. But let's talk about my outfit really quickly before I go. So I'm wearing a track suit from H&M. I absolutely love it. I wore this on my Instagram one time and sometimes I occasionally wear just the jacket or the pants and it's a really super cute look. You can do it with heels, you could do it with sneakers, you can do it with a tank top, you could do it with a shirt. So many different ways you can rock these two pieces together and individually. So let me show you the outfit. All right, for my bag, I'm going to carry my brand new Poland bag. Um, I got this when I was in Paris and they actually have a store there. It's a beautiful store. Um, I show a clip of it in my Paris vlog. So if you have not seen my Paris vlog, you can go check that out because I do show a bit of the shopping experience there. So it's a pretty small bag, but it's pretty roomy. You know, you can, Fit a lot of things there are two snaps here snap the bag and then there's a magnetic closure there there is one small pocket on the inside and then there's a pocket in the back it will not fit your phone I just have money here this is what Kuwaiti dinar looks like so this is Kuwaiti dinar and so you can put a card back there. I'm going to keep my building key card in here because to get in my residence, you have to have a key card to unlock the front door. So I'm gonna keep that card back here when I carry this bag. I love it. You can um, wear it cross body. You could also remove the straps. So for me, I just been wearing it well, I've only wore it once. This is the second time I'm wearing it today. I absolutely love it. This is an Italian K2 
calfskin leather. It's the smooth leather. I believe they also have like pebbled versions, but I just love how classic and chic the smooth leather appeared. And it just has the Polin logo there. So yeah, we're gonna wear that and I'll put this on to show how it looks with my outfit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and head out because hubby will be home shortly and he will be hungry probably in an hour or so. So I wanna get back and cook dinner. I'm probably just gonna have spaghetti tonight and make some homemade meatballs. So today's video topic is a lady's business is her own. You know, we live in a society today where people believe they have to show every single thing on social media and also share every single idea or thought that they have. And I like to say, if it's not related to building your business in some way or a part of your creative outlet that is beneficial to your home and your family, it really doesn't need to be shared. You know, a lot of my platform is talking about fashion, travel, relationships, because I have various platforms, but it all serves a purpose. It's not just for the purpose of sharing, even if people think that is the purpose, it doesn't matter. As a marketer, as a content creator, as someone who has been online for well over a decade, making money in different various ways, I know that you know from the outside it looks one way, but the creator is looking at it a different way. And the reason I thought of this topic, a lady's business is her own, is because I was watching Bridgerton is that what it's called? Bridgerton. <laughs> I was watching that, me and my husband, we watch it. I think the girl's name is Penelope. She's doing the, the little secret newsletter that nobody knows you know, who it's coming from or who writes it. And she's afraid that this lady is going to reveal her secret who does the dresses. You know, she's a seamstress and she creates these designs and I forget what her name is. I don't I don't know the name of the characters because I'm not into the show like that. I just think some of the concepts are interesting. I don't care for some of the crass parts of the show. I don't need to see that. You know, I have my own life, <laughs> you know, that I can pull from and that in those steamy scenes. So I don't really care for like the nudity that the show displays. I think it's it, it wasn't necessary, but knowing who produced the show, it makes sense why some of these things are in the show. But I do like the storylines, the etiquette lessons and seeing how people move and, you know, seeing how, you know, life is really all like a game to get to where you want to get to. And she's afraid that her secret is going to be exposed because she's caught on a side of town that she should not be on. And the, the, the lady tells her, you know, you don't, basically you don't have to worry about me telling your business because a lady's business is her own. And I think that we all can relate to this in our personal lives. Some things are your business. Some parts of your personality, some parts of your image, some parts of your thought processes, people do not need to know about, especially when we're talking about your sexuality, men you've been with, um, how you interact with men, you know, that's your business, you know? <laughs> that is your business. That is not to share with the world. And even down to your dress, the way you dress, the way you pose, the way you talk, that sends an indicator to society of what type of woman you are. Whether you say, you know, it's just self-expression, I just dress like this because I like it, doesn't matter. If it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck, we're going to think it's a duck. And those are the impressions that people are going to make of you. And it can affect your life and it can affect how people treat you. So keep your business to yourself, especially as a lady. Leave a little mystery about your life and yourself. Don't reveal every conversation, every thought, every mood you're in, every feeling you have, even towards other people. Some things don't need to be said. You know, you don't have to reveal every single thought 
that you have about other women or other people. Leave some mystery about yourself. Carry yourself as a classy woman. Carry yourself up here. It doesn't matter if anyone else thinks you're up here or not. It matters what you think and if you can get the results that you want in your life. Because I'm all about results. I'm not about talk. You know, I'm all about getting what I want and need in life. And so a lady's business is her own. So yes, we do need to think about how we carry ourselves, our speech, our etiquette. These are, these are things that you're gonna work on for your whole life as a woman. You know, I'm a mature woman. I'm at an age where it's like, I have some life experience. I'm not super old, but I'm kinda old, you know? And I'm at a point where it's like, hmm, I would have done that differently or I would have handled that situation differently. But in a lot of ways, I made good decisions. And you know, I talk about the fruit of your life. People should be able to see the fruit of your life. And if this is something that you're concerned about, your reputation, your networking capabilities, your ability to draw people in and have an appearance of grace and elegance, uh, remember that a lady's business is her own. You don't discuss what you do in the dark publicly or at work, in your workplace, even with your friends. They don't need to know all your dirt. They don't need to know every single dirty, disgusting thing you've ever done in your life. Keep some things to yourself. And you protect your reputation by the way you move, by the way you handle your relationships, by the way you start a family, by the way you choose to carry yourself in the world that's the impression people are going to have of you. So keep your secrets to yourself in between you and your man and your family and a very trusted, wise counselor or mentor and let people assume what they want. Don't tell all your business. Don't tell your sexual history, your sexual trauma, what you've been through. Uh, don't do this because a lady's business is her own. And there are places to go. A pastor, a wise pastor, not a worldly pastor, a pastor, a counselor, a therapist, a mentor, a husband, a trusted friend that is wise, that you've had for many, many years, you know, that you can go to to talk to. All right, you don't just talk about your trauma and different things that have happened to you and what you did and who you down with. You don't do that publicly because a lady's business is her own. So whatever personality, whatever language you put out online, whatever you share with the world, remember it could come back to bite you and that's how people are going to perceive you. Whether that's fair or whether that's not fair, that's life. That's just the way it is. It's the game of life. All right, so I'm gonna head out. Thank you for joining me for another video and I will see you next time, ladies. Bye-bye.